The man seems to have stepped on something. A closer look, feet covered with transparent liquid. Then they realized that they stepped on the eggs of animals. And next to it, there was a huge lizard taking a nap. Several people carefully tried to pass through. Suddenly their companion Tom accidentally. He stepped on the lizard's egg and fell in. The lizard hatchling was so scared that he screamed loudly. The napping lizard was immediately awakened. Several people rushed to the jungle to escape. But soon the lizard was cornered. At that moment the fierce man Johnson stood out. The lizard is a bang bang two punches. But the lizard felt insulted. Opened his mouth wide and ready to eat them. At that moment some thick wood, came flying and hit the lizard. The lizard was knocked unconscious to the ground in a few blows. Then, an old man appeared in front of him. This man is Jerry's long-lost grandfather. A few days ago, Jerry suddenly received a secret letter, Stepfather Johnson through Morse code translation. He deciphered a sentence in it. It said the island is real. Then they continued to translate. They learned that Grandpa was trapped on this legendary island. Then they used clues to piece together the map and coordinates of the island. They set out on a journey to find their grandfather and the mysterious island. But when the locals heard about the mysterious island, they all refused to go, only Tom and his daughter were willing to lead the way for them. Then the group set off in a helicopter. It didn't take long to encounter a giant water tornado at sea. The helicopter was swept into the whirlpool. When they woke up, they had already reached the mysterious island. The life here is completely opposite to the outside world. The original large creatures here will become smaller, and the smaller animals become extremely large. This giant lizard is the creature that was enlarged. Luckily, they managed to find Grandpa. Grandpa led them to a ruin. So this is the vanished Atlantis. Grandpa told them, Atlantis appears once every 70 years. In another 14 years, it will sink again. Then Johnson took a taste of the water and found that the ruins were full of seawater. That means it's being infiltrated. The island had begun to sink. According to calculations, it only takes about three days. It will sink into the sea again. Atlantis appears once every 70 years. 70 years later it will sink again. According to Johnson's calculations, in about three days, this place will sink again. And the only way to escape is to hide in the submarine at the other end of the island. The men gathered their things and hurried towards the direction of the submarine. At that moment, gold suddenly floated in the sky. They found that not far away, there is a golden volcano is awakening. Several people immediately speak up the pace of the road, and Tom reluctantly looked at the golden volcano. Then Grandpa came up with an idea. Riding bees can greatly reduce the time. Just as the guys were feeling good about themselves, three giant swallows were on their tail. Johnson and Grandpa attracted two swallows to collide, successfully escaped a disaster. On the other hand, Jerry was caught up. Mary fell from a height of 10. 000 meters. Fortunately, Jerry rode the bee to save her. After Jerry put Mary down, he went alone to attract the swallow. At that moment, a spider web appeared in front of him. Jerry successfully seduced the swallow and hit it, but he also fell from the bee, resulting in the dislocation of his right leg. In the evening, Johnson and Grandpa together to help. After Jerry managed to break his leg and bandage it up, Johnson played a serenade for them with great enthusiasm. After this moment, Jerry began to have a good feeling about this stepfather. The next day, Jerry was awakened by the water around him. He found that the water had flooded the land. At this time, Mary suddenly realized that Tom was gone. She instantly remembered last night. Tom told her he would give her the best life possible to send her to college, guessing that Tom must have gone to the gold volcano to dig for gold. So they split up into two groups. Mary and Grandpa looked for Tom together. Johnson and Jerry went to start the submarine. Soon they reached the shore. They found the location where the submarine was buried. But the water was too deep. Johnson immediately made two simple oxygen absorbers. Then the two jumped into the water together. According to the map to find the submarine, just as they were about to open the hatch, a giant electric eel appeared to attack them. Fortunately, the father and son worked together. Success successfully entered the submarine. After that, they went to the cockpit to start the submarine. But the power of the submarine was not enough, so they thought of the giant electric eel outside. This man accidentally slipped down the bottom of a mountain, but accidentally found a huge piece of gold. He desperately tried to dig out the gold. As a result, the gold became bigger and bigger, so big that he couldn't take it away. He turned his head and realized there was a huge gold mountain behind him. At that moment, his daughter came to comfort him. She said that this is not our wealth in the first place. The greatest wealth is when our family is together. Then she dragged her father to continue his journey. Because this island, in a few hours, it will sink to the bottom. The other side of the companion is waiting for them. On the other hand, my companion Johnson, although he managed to find the submarine, but the submarine has no electricity, so he stood alone outside to attract electric eels. He wanted to use the electric eels to provide electricity to the submarine. While the eel was attacking him, he inserted a conductive fish wire into the eel's body. The submarine is instantly recharged. By this time Mary and the others had reached the shore. They were instantly swept into the water by the fierce waves. Fortunately, Johnson shows up in time with his submarine, successfully saved a few people. Suddenly a huge rock appeared in front of them. Johnson quickly loaded torpedoes to break it. After that there were no more obstacles, they made it back to the city. Jerry and Mary also logically together. After Tom got the submarine, there was more business, but the adventure didn't end there. Grandpa finds Jerry again, informing him that the trip to the moon was about to begin. 